Welcome to our training session on JTBMarketplace.com, hosted by JTB Business Travel. We believe travelers should be well informed, so today's session will cover how to quickly and easily use JTBMarketplace.com. Let's get started. Today's travelers need to be able to book travel whenever and wherever they may be, so we offer multiple ways to book travel with us 24 7. Travelers have the capability to book online on a mobile device or with a business travel advisor. Regardless of how you book with us, you'll still earn your airline miles, points, and upgrades. Wherever you are in the world, in whatever time zone you may be in, you can connect with a live JTB travel advisor, day or night. Now let's take a look at JTBMarketplace.com and how to maximize your profile and book a simple round trip. So this is the jtbmarketplace.com site. From here, we can click on create an account, enter the site ID and password key, and click the continue button. You can create your username. It can be your email address, but doesn't have to be. Your new password twice, and also your email address to help with password retrieval. You can also get assistance if you forgot your password. Just enter your username and it will automatically send an email with a link to reset your password. And finally from here, you can see there are multiple languages available and you can choose whichever language you're most comfortable with. So now let's go ahead and get logged in. So the Home tab will always take you back to this home page. The first thing you want to do in jtbmarketplace.com is update your travel profile. So let's go there now. We'll click on the Profile tab, and this is where you would go to update your profile and add all the personal information that will help make your booking experience and travel tailored to you. Not only does your profile personalize your experience, but it'll save you time at checkout, as many pieces of information will be auto-populated, like credit card information and loyalty program numbers. So anything with an asterisk is mandatory. You will need to make sure that those fields are completely filled out before you save your profile. So things like your name, email address, home or work address, work phone number, gender, date of birth, and your mobile phone number are all required. Please make sure your mobile number is kept up to date so our Traveler Experience team can quickly reach out to you in case there are any delays or cancellations on your trip. And finally, this is where you would enter your known traveler number, which includes TSA PreCheck, Global Entry, Nexus, or Sentry. And of course, always save. You can add charge cards in advance to save yourself time at checkout. So here you can see I've entered my Visa and my American Express. And down here below, you can actually specify which cards you want to use for different parts of your trip. So in this case, I specified my visa for my airfare and hotel guarantee, as well as rail, and my American Express for air extras, which are for things like paid seats. The form of payment can always be changed at checkout. Also, please make sure to keep your credit card information up to date so that there's no delays in ticketing. Under Frequent Traveler, this is where you would add your loyalty program numbers for airline, rental car companies, and hotels. We'll head back to the home page. So from here we can see our Manage Trips tab. So this is where you would view pending, active, past, and canceled trips. This allows you to see all your travel in one location. And finally, we can look at our unused tickets. So this is where we can view any credits you may have so you can make sure and use them before they expire. Now let's head back to the home page and do a simple round trip booking. On the home page, we can book flights, rental cars, hotel, or rail. For flights, we can book a round trip, one way, or a multi destination trip. Now, your online booking tool is great for simple round trip and one way bookings, but our business travel advisors are the experts for more complex or multi city trips. So we'll go from LAX to San Francisco. Choose our departure date. 
We can request options that leave at or arrive at a general time or a specific hour. Okay. We'll also choose our return date and time. Under advanced search, we can choose our class of service as well as our fair type preference, either lowest available or unrestricted if we want something fully refundable and changeable. And then down here at the hotel, SFO has already been entered based on my flights, but I can enter a different location if I was planning to stay away from the airport as well. So click the search button. Our jtbmarketplace.com tool is currently searching and bringing in content from multiple sources, including web fares, which are options that are normally only available directly from an airline's website. This way you can browse all flights in one location without having to go to multiple external sites. So we can see all of our options here. We can actually sort them by departure time, arrival time, airline, or price. We can adjust the flight time window or arrival as well as the price. If we only wanted non-stop options, we could unselect these. If we only wanted to leave out of LAX, we could unselect the box next to Ontario. If there were no nonstop options, you could actually choose which city you would prefer to lay over in as well. And finally, here at the bottom, you can select which airlines you would like to see. So this W here indicates that this is a web fare, so the rates are being pulled directly from Southwest website. Take a look at some of our options. So we'll look at United. So here you can see, if you click on the class of service, you can see the different brand attributes that are associated with each. Now, even though I chose the lowest available in my initial search, it does include other rates in case I find the perks are worth the additional cost. So I'll go ahead and select this flight. And then my return flight as well. So now that we have selected our flight, it's searching for some additional options to offer us. So here we can see the options I chose up here. And down below, it's offering additional itineraries in case one of these would work better in terms of price or schedule. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the flights I chose. So now that we've confirmed our flights, it's searching for the current seat map. So we can choose from the interactive seat map up here, or we can choose from the drop down menu here. If there is an additional fee associated with a seat, it will be displayed here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose a free seat for now. Select that. And then choose my seat for the return as well. So now that we have our flights all set, it's searching for hotel options based on the information we just provided. It will bring back results not only from within the requested area, but is pulling rates from multiple sources to help ensure you're getting the best price available. We have member only rates, booking.com rates, and JTB negotiated rates, all automatically included in your hotel search. If you find a better price, we'll match it with our best price guarantee. So we can still change the location of our hotel if we wanted to be near a specific address rather than at the airport. So we can view all the options here in the list, or we can view them on a map. We can sort the options using the drop-down menu up here, or further refine our options using the property filters over here. So we can hide sold-out hotels, and also change the distance. So here we can see we have booking.com rates. Now under hotel name, if you like to see all the chains within a major brand, you can search for them using, for example, Hilton Brands. This will show Hampton Inns, Homewood Suites, Doubletree, and others belonging to the Hilton Group. So we'll take a look at the Doubletree here. So from here we can see all kinds of information about the property, including photos, hotel amenities, hotel overview, 
and of course the room rates. So here we see we have Hilton honors rates, JTB rates, and then of course we did see the booking.com rates earlier as well. So we can go ahead and select this option. Here we see the cancellation policy. Again, the room details. Just make sure to look over this so that you're getting exactly what you want. And then under special requests, we can add up to three requests that will be sent to the hotel. Just make sure you're eligible for any rates you choose. So if you select a member only rate, make sure your member number is in your profile or be sure to add it at checkout. So we'll go ahead and select the room. And now that we have our hotel decided, it's gonna go ahead and search for car rental options. We can see here it has already entered the airport we're flying into, as well as our hotel information. You can also enter an address if you're planning to pick up the car at a different location. You can drop off the car at a different location. And we can see here that the dates and times already correspond to our flight times. At any point during the booking process, you can click on your trip so far and see what you've selected already. So here we see our flight and our hotel. So for the car, you can select up to five different car types. These five are already pre-selected, so if you want something different, you can unselect a few and go ahead and select what you're looking for. You can select your features and also add up to three special requests. And click the search button. Now it's searching for different options based on the search criteria that we just selected. So we can sort the options using the drop-down menu up here, or you can even still edit your search. Take a look at the options we have. You can review details about the car before you make your choice to ensure it's gonna fit your needs. So this looks good. I'll go ahead and select this here. And this will take us to our trip review and checkout page. So here at the top, we can see that this must be ticketed by close of business on October 1st. From here, we can still add to this trip if we wanted to add another flight or another hotel room. We could also still make changes to this itinerary. We could change or remove flights, change our seats. We could also change or remove our hotel and our car. Here under traveler details, so this information is being pulled from my profile. So down here, you can see the loyalty program numbers. I do have my United Frequent Flyer number and my Hilton Honors number in my profile. So those are being added automatically. I do not have a national Emerald Club number, however. So this is blank. But if I did have one, I could enter it here. Under billing information, in my profile, I had requested that my visa be billed for my air and hotel guarantee. But if I wanted to, I could always change those as well. And then of course, under car, you wouldn't need to enter a credit card since you would have to present a credit card at the time of car pickup. Under additional information, we can add some email addresses if we wanted someone else to receive a copy of our reservation. And then we come to our trip cost breakdown. So here we see the flights, the hotel, and the car. And this is our total estimated cost for everything. Down here, you can see we can put this trip on hold. We do have two days to come back and purchase this trip. And if we do not, then it will be automatically canceled. But if everything looks good and you're ready to purchase, we can click on the purchase trip button here. So the reservation is being completed and we will see our confirmation numbers on the next page. Also, our secure flight information, frequent traveler numbers, seat requests, and all other relevant information is being added. Even though our known traveler number is not displayed, it will be automatically added to our reservation as long as it's in our profile already. JTB Business Travel has partnered with Hilton to offer our travelers access to the Earn Elite Status Faster program. You can register your Hilton Honors number and achieve gold status in only eight nights within 90 days of registration. Normally, it would take 40 nights to achieve the same status. 
You can also enroll on our website if you do not already have a Hilton Honors number. So here we can see that our reservation is complete and it does give an overview of what is being sent for ticketing. We can see all of our confirmation numbers up here and the trip details down here below. Okay, so now that everything is confirmed, we can go ahead and head back to our Manage Trips tab and take a look at the trip that we just booked. So this is a trip that was just booked. We can go ahead and take a look at it. So from here, we could still add to this trip. So if later on you wanted to add another flight, you could do so. And if for some reason you needed to cancel the trip, this is where you would come to cancel the trip as well. So again, this just goes over all of our trip details. So one benefit of booking all your travel at JTB is that you have visibility of your whole trip in one place. Also, our business travel advisors are able to support if you ever need to make changes to your itinerary. So this concludes our session on jtbmarketplace.com. Thank you for listening. Now you know how to maximize your profile and book travel in jtbmarketplace.com. Check out our Like a Pro sessions for more in-depth information on topics like mobile and profile management. Have a great day.